Last week I covered my 33rd high school football season here at WNEP, so with my music background, I'm gonna round it off to 33 and a third, which is of course a record. The last notes of my playing career are just about over. Time to turn the music over to another generation, just not my generation. I began watching high school sports in the mid-1960s with the Blakely Bears, so it just felt right to step down at the end of the high school football season. I'd like to thank my co-workers at WNEP, Scott and I are actually friends. He just has very poor taste in his sports teams. Lisa's class and kindness has trickled down through our newsroom in just a year plus she's been here, and those traits have come across on the air. I came and learned from the sports department with Joe Zone and Tim Carlson, enjoyed the good times with Sharla, Landon, and of course my longest running mate, Steve. To all the athletic directors and the officials, you guys and gals don't get enough credit for supporting our local teams and players. It is sometimes a thankless role, and yet, indispensable to the long list of football coaches like George Curry, Jack, Frank, Whitey, and Jim. Your talent and titles don't mean as much as your friendship. In hoops, props to Vince and Kenny, CI at Loyal Sock, Bess at the U, and Coach Flannery and Trevor down at Bucknell. And of course, the players. I covered Mike Garcia winning three state wrestling championships at Mount Carmel area, and then Mike's three sons winning nine state championships in high school football at Southern, and yes, one more in wrestling. I guess I'm like the avuncular Uncle Charlie to Mike's three sons. From Mike Munchak to McGloin to Musina and Mazanti at Montoursville, Sura and GMAC in District 2, and all those great nights at Mart's Hall where the Mecca was packed for boys and, yes, girls hoops. Covering the Red Barons and the Rail Riders was a personal perk. Turk and Jeep won't be forgotten. And talking baseball with Bobby and Doug Davis, well, yeah, that's a twin killing. Now, I won't miss Talkback 16 and maybe a few of the parents. For the record, I don't hate any school, any team, or any sport. I love being a local historian. So, from what I've been told, you're gonna see me down the road. Happy Valley beckons for a visit. Sooner than later, within the half hour. And events or vacations call for a lefty. For a spot start, I'll be around. Because after 60 years of absorbing sports, half my life covering it, it's too late to stop now. So I'll give one more little bit of breaking news. Kyrie Irving is going to start playing basketball for the Brooklyn Nets. He's going to play in road games only, not going to play in New York, can't play at the Garden, can't play with the Nets at home, but he's going to give it a shot and work part-time. And that sounds like a good idea for me, Phil. <laughs> you, my friend, class act. See you guys. Thank we'll you. We'll just call you Kyrie from now on. Yeah. We'll be, we will be right back here at 6.